Alexa here. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys this cute little adobe house in the desert. Um, I will be using watercolor, so my supplies, watercolor palette, watercolor paper, cup for water, paper towel, and I have three paint brushes, my larger round brush, my medium round brush, and my little detail brush. Um, I know that it's not easy to buy paper towels everywhere right now, so if you guys, um, if your paper towel isn't too messy, if you just let it dry, you can reuse it for your next watercolor project. That's actually what I do a lot anyway. Um, and if you don't have watercolors, you can always still follow along. Just use your markers, your crayons, colored pencils, whatever you have available. And, oh, if you are using watercolors and not watercolor paper, make sure you do not wet it too much or it will crumble and tear. Let's go ahead and get started. Here's our paper. I'm going to start with my larger brush. And I'm going to use this really light tan color. Um, if you guys don't have the exact same colors or if you don't have a light tan, if you just use like an orange or a yellow and just um, thin out the paint with your water and do it really lightly, it'll work as well. I'm just gonna make a line about here. And then I'm gonna make the roof of my little house kind of wavy can be however you guys want it. You can have yours more flat if you want. You can have the bump in the middle. And then I'm gonna put the other side of the house here and the bottom. And I'm gonna take the same color I'm using and just fill that in. I'm gonna rinse off my brush. The next color I'm gonna use is this. It's a little bit darker than the tan that I just used. And we're trying to use warm tan orangey colors because it will look more deserty that way. And this is the ground. If you want your ground to curve up here, if you want it to be flat, that's up to you. Um, we're not going to paint the very edges of our paper. It'll just help that from curling up on us. We're just going to fill in the ground here. That same color. And if you feel like you have too much paint in one spot, like I have a lot of paint right there, just take a little bit of water on your brush and it'll help spread it around. I'm gonna use this nice clay color, this red. Um, I'm gonna draw more of the ground right here, paint. And again, your ground can be curved differently, it can be flat, however you want it. And then I'm just gonna carefully paint around my house and fill this area in with the same color. I'm going to have 
add one more layer in the background and I'm gonna use a different tan that I haven't used yet. You can use the same one as you used here if you don't have another one. It's not a big deal. I'm just gonna make this one a little flatter. Again, yours can be different, that's up to you. over here too. And if you get a little bit on your house, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. After that, I'm going to start on my sky. I'm going to use this pretty light blue. And I'm going to do the sky very lightly. I don't want it to be overwhelmingly blue because I want those desert colors to stand out the most. Again, if I'm going too fast for you guys, you can pause it, don't forget, or you can rewind. Everyone can work at their own pace. And then I'm going to take this purple and I'm going to add just a little bit of it to the top of my sky. We're not making the whole sky purple here, just a little bit. After we have that, I'm going to switch to my medium brush and I'm going to pick a color that I really like and you guys can pick whatever color you want. I just want you to avoid brown and black. And I'm going to use this bright red and this is going to be for my door. I'm going to put my door right in the middle here and it's going to have a curved top your door can be flat on the top it can be bigger it can be smaller and then i'm just gonna when i fill that in i'm going to use the color i picked and just do long brush strokes up and down and if you see here how it looks kind of grainy there it's because i didn't have enough water on my brush so you can just go right over that I'm going to take this darker red. I'm going to add just a little bit to the left side of my door. Just kind of give it a little bit more dimension. I'm going to rinse my brush. I'm going to switch to a green. It doesn't matter what green you pick. I'm going to pick this bright green. And somewhere in the front of your picture, I would pick one of the sides. We're gonna do a cactus. We're only gonna see the top of this cactus because it's closer in the foreground to us. So we have a big upside down U. And I'm gonna do a little arm on this side, big arm on this side. And if you guys, um, you can fill that in. If you guys wanna do some of the details on your cactus that we had, um, in the first video, feel free to do that. Um, you can either pause or you can do it at the end. I'm just gonna leave it green. And then I'm gonna take green again and I'm gonna add a little bush at the front of my house and it's just a bunch of straight lines sticking out. I'm gonna take a darker green using this green. I'm going to add some lines to that bush to make it stand out a little better. 
And then with that same darker green, I'm going to add just a couple cactuses in my background. And if you guys want it to look a little more realistic, the farther away cactuses are going to be smaller. So that one's far away, it's really teeny tiny. The one a little closer, it's a little bit bigger. Just a line. And some arms. I'm actually going to add a little bit of the darker green on my cactus here, just on the left side of everything. I'm going to rinse off my brush. And I'm going to use with this one. It's like a deep reddish purple color. I'm going to make a little window. Just a little teeny tiny window. And you guys don't have to have a window. You can have more windows. You know, bigger windows, smaller windows. That's up to you. And then I'm going to switch colors again. I'm going to use a brown. And that looks kind of black in the video, but I promise it's brown. And then I'm going to add some brown lines at the top. I need a little more paint. And Adobe houses have these really cool posts at the top. So I'm just going to add some at the highest part of my house. I'll do three on each side. And then I'm going to take that same brown and just very lightly on the very top, I'm going to add some. And I'm also going to add some to the left of my house. And then I want you guys to either use the smallest brush you have or just very, do you see how lightly I'm painting? I'm not pressing the brush down. I want you guys to paint about this lightly. And next to your door, do kind of an outline. We're not outlining the whole thing. We're just giving it a little bit of a shadow. And you can do a little bit on the other side if you want. We're going to do the same with our window. And then if you waited to add your details on your cactuses, you can go ahead and do that now. And then I'm going to start outlining. So I'm using my teeny tiny outline brush. And if you guys don't have a teeny brush or if you're not comfortable outlining with a paintbrush, go ahead and grab um, any black marker. Just wait till your paint is all dry before you do that. I'm gonna take the black paint. I'm just gonna outline everything I painted. And if you have something on there that you don't love so much, like I don't love how fat I made this arm right here. When I outline, I'm just gonna kind of reshape that and you can hardly even tell now. Outline this cactus. When you outline your cactuses, if you put a little squiggly line under it, it'll just look like it's kind of growing out of the sand there. And then just keep on outlining everything else. You guys can probably see I went a little bit off with my outline. I'm just going to add another line there and it just makes it look like a layer of sand. And I outline my 
bush here. I'm not going to completely outline it. I'm just going to do some lines to kind of help it stand out. And since these little pegs here are really dark, I'm not going to outline them just because they already stand out on their own. And you guys do your door. If you want to add a doorknob or if you want to add lines in your door, feel free to do that. And then if there are any other details that you guys want on there that I don't have, go ahead and add those now. And again, you can pause me if you want. And when you're done, remember to sign your work. I hope you guys enjoyed that lesson as much as I did. If you did, go ahead and hit like and subscribe on our YouTube channel. And I just want to show you guys. These are both mine. They're both different. I think they're both really cute. Your art is going to be different than mine. It's going to be different than your friends. And that is so great. If you um, want to have your parents send in pictures of your art, I love to see what you guys create. And I'll see you next time.